Six TV. Um, this is our starting of our summer program. Um, today, I am your host today. Um, I have a very special guest here with me who goes by the name Sekou uh, Makalo. Sekou Fidos Makalo. So, um, I don't know exactly what Fidos means. So, um, Sekou, um, I think you are the only Fidos in art. So, what Fidos means exactly? Awuz billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajeem. Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa ahlu li uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli. After praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and sending salutation upon the Imam of all prophets, the seal of all prophets, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, may Allah have mercy on him inshallah. The word firdaus is the highest place in Jannah because Allah said in the Quran, Surah Al-Nahal chapter 16, Ayy Surah Al-Kahf chapter 18 verse 4 and 7. Allah said, Inna ladina amad wa amilu salihati kaanad lahum jannatu firdaus in Muzila. So firdaus is the highest place in Jannah. Alhamdulillah, mashallah, that's good, that sounds uh, fanciful, okay? Um, okay, um, I have a food house with me, Sebu Food House Makalo. Um, today I have a very special topic that we're going to talk about. Um, um, it will be a um, uh, belief of Christianity, you know, um, as is a religious thing. And we believe that there's a difference between Christianity and, 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 and uh, Islam. So, um, from your own point of view, um, what do you think is the difference between these two religions? Yes, based on my part, personal point of view is that I think there is no difference between Christian and Muslim if all of us follow our scripture. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the cross Quran in Surah Al Imran chapter 3 verse 64, Allah said, Pulya al Kitab, say to the people of the book, Chala ila kalima to come to come and term as I have sent you. And Allah said, You will worship no God apart from Allah. Because Allah Azza wa Jal, the mighty knows that if we follow our scripture, all of us will agree and worship only one God. For example, the Christians have the concept that the Trinity, the concept of Trinity, they said that they have three in one, meaning that Jesus Alayhi Salaam is God, and the Father in the heaven is God, and the Holy Ghost is God. This is what they believe. And if we read the Bible, there is only one verse that any Christian can come across, which is talking about Trinity. In the first episode of John chapter 5 verse 7, this is the only verse that any Christian can come across pertaining to the issue of Trinity. It says that, that there are three bears recorded in the heaven, the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost and all these three are one. This is the only verse. And this verse was kicked out of the Bible. By who? Not the Muslims, not the Hindu, but the Christian scholars of the highest evidence. Backed by 50 co-nominated scholars, they kicked this word out of the Bible. Because why? If you read the Bible, now, the King James, uh, the Revised Standard Version, that was revised by the highest academics of the Christian missionaries, you will never ever see this verse there in the first episode of John chapter 5 verse 7. Because if you analyze, Isa alayhi salam preached the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as it is stated in the, Old, in, in the Old Testament. For example, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 44 verse 24, it says that, that I am the Lord who is in control of absolutely everything. If you read further, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 5, it says that I am the only Lord and there is no one beside me. If you read further again, in the book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 10, it says that I am the only Lord and, and there is no one beside me. If you read further again, in the book of Isaiah, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 46, verse 9, it says that there is only one God and there is nothing that looks like Allah. There is nothing that looks like God. And this is the same verse that is found in the Quran. If you read the Quran, in Surah Al-Iqlas, chapter 112, verse 4, Allah said, وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ كُفْرًا There is nothing that is it just equivalent to Allah. Allah is unique, He is one, and there is nothing like Allah. Okay, um, that is quite, quite kind to everyone. I think you will make a very crucial point. But as we, we don't know more about, uh, I think you're talking about Trinity and um, what exactly did you mean uh, about Trinity? Is it that there is three? I don't know. Can you yes. please give the me The word something? Trinity, the Christians have the concept that that Isa alayhi salam is God. Yes. That God itself is God. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Ghost is God. Mm -hmm. And guess what? When I was in school, my master taught me that one plus one plus one is equal to three. Three, yes. But the Christians, <laughs> the Christians have the zeal to fool us, they said one plus one plus one is a cost of one. Is this logical? It is not logical. And we know that Isa alayhi salam was a man. It's found in the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 23. It says that, O children of Israel, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth, 
a man approved of Luca de Lambin, a man approved of God amongst you, there are 1,000 miracles and signs which God did by him, and we are witness to it. And it is stated in the Bible again, read in the book of Hosea, chapter 11, verse 9, the God said, I am God, not a man. If we read furthermore, in the book of Numbers, chapter 23, verse 19, it says that God can neither be a man nor the son of a man. And the Christians want to fool us. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, um, I think you, you, you convinced me, you convinced me by um, giving me or elaborating more on what uh, Trinity means. Um, okay, so um, I think there is another thing also that they, they talk about, that is uh, divinity, something like that. Divinity also, it has a connection with Trinity, all talking about the Isa Ali Salaam being divine. But let's just analyze the point. There is not even a single analytical statement in the complete Bible where Isa Ali Salaam himself says that I am God who worship me. And in fact, you, we are talking about the issue of Trinity. The word Trinity is found in the Quran. Allah said in the cross Quran, in Surah Al Ma'idah, chapter 5, verse 73, Allah said, Lakat kafar al kalu inna Allah salifu salasa. He said, They have certainly disbelieved those who said Allah is three in one, mean Trinity. And also in Surah Al Nisa, chapter 4, verse 71, Allah said, Wala taqulu salasa. Don't say Trinity, stop it, it is dead of Trinity. So the big Quran said, No. And the Bible said no. Okay, um, that's. I think that point is very clear, and I think you make very crucial uh, point uh, by giving us difference between these two. Um, I think also there is another point that people divinity. talk about. That's divinity, right? So I would like you to uh, elaborate more on that one also. Yeah, yeah, the Christians have a belief. They say that Isa Ali Salam is God. This part of the verse is found in the Bible, that is in the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 5, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 18, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 44, verse 24, in the book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 10, all talking about the oneness of Allah, in the book of Hosea, chapter 11, verse 9, in the book of Numbers, chapter 23, verse 19, this part of all, of all those verses, the Christians say that Isa Ali Salam is God. But let's just analyze what Isa Ali Salam have to say. If you read the Bible, it is found. Mm -hmm. In the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 28, Isa said, My father is greater than I. In the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verse 29, My father is greater than all. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 12, verse 24, I cast out devil with the spirit of God. In the Gospel of Luke, chapter 11, verse 20, I have the finger of God, cast out devil. If you read forward again, in the Gospel of John, chapter 5, verse 30, he said, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just. For the sake not my will, but the will of my father. And anyone who says that for the sake not my will, but the will of my father, is a Muslim. Isa Ali Salam was a Muslim. And in fact, a verse in the Bible is found in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 10, verse 27. It says that for God everything is possible. And Isa Ali Salam said in the Gospel of John, chapter 5, verse 30, I can't of my own self do nothing. How can he be God? Well, for God, everything is possible. I stated in the Bible, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 18. It says that I am the God who created the heaven and the earth, not in vain. And there is no one beside me. In the book of Mark, chapter 10, verse 27, it says that for God, everything is possible. And Isa Ali Salam said, I can't of my own self do nothing. Oh, that's, 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 that's really, really, really good. So, um, the way you, you're talking about this thing, you know, you made it very, very clear, very, very, you know, you make very crucial points. Um, I think um, I will come back to Islam because <laughs> 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 my sake has uh, explained such, uh, a lot of things that, that convince me, you know, about these, these, these two things, you know, because many people have uh, different, different um, ideas or different, different things based on uh, different religions. Exactly, and I think at that point, this the, the generation we are living in was prophesied by Isa Ali Salam. You read the Bible, the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 9, it says that in vain do they follow me, in vain do they follow me. They follow the doctrines and the commandment of men, and this is what is ongoing. The Christians' children are taught the concept of Trinity, the concept of divinity, the concept of sunset, and the concept of the ordinary scenes that has no basis in the Bible. And in fact, a woman came to Isa Ali Salam. It's mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 17. It says that, Oh, good master, how can I get paradise? Isa Ali Salam replied, Why do you call me good? G O O D. Mm -hmm. He rejected the notion of being called good. He said, Why do you call me good? He said, There's only one good, and there is the Father in the heaven. Mm -hmm. If you want to get salvation, he said, Follow the commandment. He doesn't even say that, Believe in divinity, believe in trinity, believe in sonship. 
Believe in the original He said for the commandment. What is the commandment? The commandment is found in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 12, verse 29. Isa Alisa repeated exactly the word, that word said by Moses alayhi salam. It is mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 4. Moses said, The Lord our God is one. Isa alayhi salam in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 12, verse 29. He said, O children of Israel, the first of all commandments, the first of all commandments is the Lord our God is one. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam. Message in Surah Al-Ikhlas, chapter 1 and 12, verse 1, he said, Kul huwa Allah ahad. Say, he is Allah, one and only. The Bible said, only one God. Isa alayhi salam said, only one God. In the, in the book of Mark, chapter 12, verse 29. In the book of John, chapter 20, verse 17. Many verses in the Bible. Isaiah said, only one God. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 5. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 18. Moses said, one God. In the book of Deuteronomy, Chapter 6, verse 4, all the prophets said to one God, Kul huwa Allahu Ahad, say he is Allah, one and only. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. <laughs> Your point is clear, uh, Mr. Fibdos. I, I, I think sorry, I'll sorry, also sorry. give not this name. Mr. Not Mr. <laughs> okay, Fibdos, I think I'll also use this, this same name. Yeah. You start calling me same Fibdos. <laughs> because I want to be in heaven too. <laughs> so um, as uh, this brings us the, uh, to the end of the program, um, I would like um, Mr. Sorry, I would like Fridaus to make his conclusion or uh, to give us uh, his conclusion um, remark, um, what he had so for distant uh, people who are viewing um, this uh, video. What would be your last sayings? Yeah, my last saying is that let's just go back to the Quran and the Sunnah and let's just, the Christians, let them read the Bible. And all what I have said, they can check it up. I quote many verses many chapter verse and they can check it up inshallah and the most significant thing is that that i will ask them to go back is that is the first of all commandment in fact the ten commandment is found in the book of exodus chapter 20 verse 1 and 7 they can even check it what is al islam and what god have to say and they can also check in the book of isaiah chapter 45 verse 5 in the book of isaiah chapter 45 verse 18 in the book of isaiah chapter 46 verse 9 in the book of matthew chapter 4 verse 10 in many verses, I can keep on quoting with the help of Allah, not less than 20 places, talking about the oneness of Allah. And the most significant thing, the first of all commandment, that is what Isa al Islam told the woman, if you want to get salvation, follow the commandment. The commandment is found in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 20, verse 29. Let them check what it says. Mm -hmm. It does not say Trinity. It does not say Divinity. It does not say Sonship. It does not say the original sins. It only talks about the oneness of Allah. Only that. Mashallah. Thank you for, for coming to our uh, our our online uh, or our YouTube channel uh, for using our YouTube channel to uh, talk about Islam. So uh, as I said, this is the beginning of our summer program. We will giving you uh, we will be coming here time to time, giving you uh, a, a program like this, you know, um, to to showcase your uh, your talent. You are highly welcome. Um, perhaps you can comment on that. Or you you call us on three six three zero two six one three six three zero two six one. So uh, I thank uh, Fridaus for coming to our platform and and and, and talk about Allah. Uh, I also pray may God uh, uh, um, increase you in knowledge and and, and and guide you in right path and guide us also in right path. So uh, that this brings us to the end of this show. I thank you all. Please subscribe, like, and share. Please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you all.